Hi there, I'm Will Alexander, and you're just in time for story time with Will Alexander. Today's story is a very important story that I all think you need to listen to. It's written by myself and Wayne Cavanaugh, inspiration for it. It's called A Dog Named Red. Let me tell you a little story of a dog named Red, a big ugly bugger, ugly tail and ugly head. When it came to hunting, was a bumbling fool. So his owner shipped him off to dog show school. Well, Red had a head like a giant red boulder, and he marched to and fro like a military soldier. When it came to free baiting, he stood for a square and stayed. That's bound to be a hit at dog shows today. Well, the group judge that day was Clem Cadiddle Hopper. He stepped into the ring and tripped upon the cocker. With no judge that day, the sporting group was feared. And then the ghost of Mrs. Clark suddenly appeared. I'll judge your group, bring him in, take him round. Well, the first in the ring were the three dog setters. All looked the same, none worse and none better. With a tear trickling down her face, she said, before we get to judging, let's discuss the setter race. It's called breed type, boys and girls, heads, tails, and attitude. Well, the Irishman is the fiery one at best, tallest of the three and more fired up than all the rest. When you think of a headpiece, think of McCam and Marquis. Those eyes, those ears, that temperament you really want to see. The Englishman. The Englishman is the gentleman of the three, not so fired up much more gentlemanly. When you think of an English setter, think of Rock Falls Colonel. The size, the shape, the headpiece, and the type that runs eternal. The Gordon Setter. The Gordon is the only square of the setters. Not as tall as the redhead, but he's much heavier. When you think of the Scotsman, use Rock Aplenty's hang him high. The flat back, the bone, the girth, that really fills your eye. Well, that is my story on the three dog setters. A breed unto themselves, each breeder thinks theirs is better. If you're still a little confused, well, here's a helpful clue. If you paint them all one color, you should still know what to do. I hope they all come back now. You hear? Thank you for your attention, and good night. And sorry to all you Irish red and white fanciers out there, as it's a relatively new breed to me, I don't think I have the wherewithal to teach you about it. Thank you.